What's up, you guys? Welcome back to I Am and Bread Jewels TV. Okay, today we're gonna be doing the story time, girl. We're gonna get into the things, the things, the things. But before we do, this story time in particular is gonna be about the time that I got the damn CPS folks caught on me by my mama. <sighs> Y'all hit the, the like button for me. Hit the like up for me. Okay, um, this really is one of those situations where your girl had to put this one behind her. So, if I don't remember every single last detail, it's because I, I put it, I buried it. It's one of them situations I gotta bury back up, you know, uh, 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 you know, I gotta, I gotta dig back up rather. But anyway, y'all, let's get into the video. <laughs> Get that intro going. Three. Taylor Gang, let's get it. <laughs> Young Money. Yeah. There's some people coming with me, and I know who they are. And some that just ain't gonna make it, and I know who they are. And I know they ain't gon' like it, but it's quite alright I ain't need no one my whole life, and I'm done alright I can do bad by myself These days you never can tell Except the people who have been with me and they know who they are Yeah, they know my true colors and they see what they are like in 2017-ish I just went from first shift to third shift and the reason why I left you know you know them tardies and shit like that they like girl maybe you just need a different shift it was some other shit going on in the background you know and basically I just went third because I was like I don't want to keep telling up points and I had just got full time and stuff like that they only gave you like 10 points at the time I had to basically um, start staying with my parents and stuff like that just in case, you know, I would get off of work in the morning, I would take my daughter to school, and then I would, you know, wait in my house so she she get out and go to my grandparents' house and um, sleep there until time to do it all over again. One in particular day, I was sleeping. <laughs> In, in a nice bed and uh i get a, a call okay my daughter answered the phone i'm sleeping that's just the way that our connection our dynamic re rio and when y'all hear me say my parents or you might hear me say my grandparents my grandma and my my mother live together and it always have been my granddad my uh grandma me my mom before i had kids it was those four that stayed in the house um when we first moved from Detroit to Tennessee, Michigan to Tennessee. So, um, if you hear me saying that, that's just indicating that my, I'm calling my parents, my mama and my grandma, because my granddaddy is no longer with us. So, um, at this time, he wasn't either. But um, what well, wind up tra taking pace is somebody called, <clears throat> my baby answered the phone, and it was my mama. So my mom was like, girl, 
you know, we have been going back and forth for a couple of days trying to, I guess, get me on her insurance or something like that. So I have dental insurance at the time. I don't think, you know, I'm just getting into the game. I don't know how this shit work or whatever the fuck the situation was. It led into, you know, her calling me and basically telling me, oh my God, I just made the biggest mistake. I'm so sorry. This and the third. I was just trying to do this right here with my job insurance and whatever the fuck. And I think I accidentally did something. And I'm like, what was going on? Well, the people was talking to me about this and that. We talking, we chopping it up. And I let it slip out of my mouth that, you know what I'm saying? You be sleep. And, you know, I don't know. However, the conversation went. And then she um was like, yeah, da 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 And I didn't think nothing of it. That's kind of how she was coming off. Like, I didn't think nothing of it. And then I was like, okay, well, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, don't nothing come out of it. I'm not knowing what the fuck she's talking about because I'm asleep. So, a couple of days later. Okay, a couple of days later. I'm about, my daughter was like four, maybe five. She was in pre-K. So, about four or five. She was five. I get a knock at the door. Mind you, I'm asleep. So, my mom was like, oh. my baby was like, mama, mama, somebody at the door. I'm like, okay. So... I'm like, don't don't open to don't open the door. Wait for me to get to the door. So she peeping out the window and shit. So I get up, make sure I, I'm in good standing, how I'm looking or whatever. So I go to the door. It's two ladies at the door. What the fuck is going on? So I was I opened the door and I was like, yes, I may help you. And then it was like, oh, we such 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 with CPS. And I was like, the fuck, CPS? Cause I'm not knowing what the fuck is going on. So, it's like, I'm blindsided. And this could have been like, in another a couple of days, this could have been, I don't remember. Girl, I buried this shit. So, they come in, they start asking me a lot of questions. They start asking my daughter a lot of questions. I'm like, why? What the fuck is going on? How y'all go from, well, my mama go from talking to the insurance company with her job to literally discussing me in my relationship with my child so um after they finished that i'm like man that shit was weird as fuck so i called my mama and i'm like why cps just pop up at the door first of all i don't live here i have my own apartment i have my own house or whatever i'm just staying here um you know until y'all get out of work basically and then whether I spend the night or I go back home, depending on how I'm feeling that day, that's what that's what be going on. But I don't live here. This ain't my address. I don't get mail here. So um, how the fuck they get the address to where I'm at and where my child is? Okay, boom. She's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Blah 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 blah. I didn't mean to do this. I'm like, okay, whatever. So um when they left i think that was just the end of everything from the most part but my thing is what i learned from the experience or when i look back over that experience is what i think is you have to be careful of how close because you are to certain people especially your family and i don't mean no disrespect to nobody parent their sister their brother their auntie their fucking grandma their grandparents i don't give a fuck when you sitting up here and you you are um close knitted with somebody you know what i'm saying us females we tend to be so close knitted within a, a family unit when it comes down to your mama your grandma this then the third y'all be close knitted it's a lot of things that y'all disclose with each other it's a lot of damn confidentiality that y'all hold within each other and then you know years down the line when you, you look back over shit motherfuckers it's been so many times where so much shit that came out a why the confidentiality was broken. You got to be careful. Who, and when you break away, if and if you, if you decide when you when you do break away, break away. Don't be telling people. You know what I'm saying. Your intimate shit. Don't don't do that. Because at the end of the day, come back and bite you in the ass. And I know people don't be meaning to. You know, you feel like it's your family, especially if you was um, especially if you the type of person. Or have the the, uh, the 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 foundation of I 
forgot what they call it. Uh, like you was just in the house a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just depended on your family. Your your family was always there. They always protected you and get, shielded you in the house. Something syndrome. It's called something. Stockholm syndrome. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, you got Stockholm syndrome. You, you know, allow yourself to take time and really, really think for your motherfucking self. Don't be letting certain people influence you to do shit and do all this. Mm-mm. 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 Period. 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 Be careful. So I learned that, and the reason why, you know, I kind of say like, it's hard, but you got to do it, is because that situation could have turned into me having my daughter taken away from me. Right. Me not having a relationship with my child's father at the time, that's the only person or the only people that I had a choice to go to. And you know what I'm saying? I would think that you would think that it wouldn't end up or it wouldn't have turned out like that. But for me, it did. And I'm just thankful that it didn't result in some other shit, like some legal shit. But yes, that's my story time. The time my mama called CPS on me and she didn't even know what. Okay. Now, <laughs> I've learned exactly what the fuck I told y'all. Like, even if it is your your mama, your daddy, or whoever. Mm. You know. But yeah, this week I got out of this situation, and like I say. I'm going to be honest with you. That shit hurt the shit out of me because I felt like, you know, it just made me relive a lot of different experiences. One being that how many times a person that you confide in really been talking about or sharing little intimate detail with you not knowing the whole time this just wasn't cps this was multiple people that you slipped up and said this or slipped up and said that and now you know my name is drug out in the street you got motherfuckers running back and telling you this that and the third you know to the point to where she coming back and telling me like oh so and so is brought to my attention I'm like the fuck bitch I stay in a whole different city than you hoes so I don't know why the fuck y'all got my name in y'all mouth cause I'm not fucking with nobody I'm not fucking with nobody from down there I'm not talking to nobody from down there so why the fuck is my name out in somebody else's concern Meanwhile, you the main one talking. You the main one telling people what's going on. You the main one uh, exacerbating this whole issue. So, be careful. There's one thing to tell y'all. Be careful. You know, because a lot of people be like, oh, shit's sweet until it ain't. Oh, I shouldn't be worried about this until you should. Oh, this person ain't gonna do this. They know this person ain't gonna do that until they do. So you gotta be careful, baby. You gotta be careful. You gotta watch. What they, what, 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 in one of the movies they say, watch and pray, bitch. You better watch and pray. That it ain't you or your situation that a motherfucker is got their mouth or they, they two cents in the whole time and they're trying to play like, you know, they, they, you know, they on your team the whole time. You the, you the, you the. You the all right y'all so that's my story time again <laughs> that's just my opinion and the way that i'm thinking about it if you like the video hit the thumbs up button you already know what it is you already know what time it is cool hashtag juliet clan okay thank you to all my new subscribers i love y'all 
thank you to all my oldest subscribers y'all already know what it is i love y'all most definitely and to all of the watchers y'all come over here and go ahead and hit the subscribe button but when you hit the support subscribe button and then you hit the notification bell because you gotta hit the notification bell but when you hit the notification bell select none if you don't want to see me all the time but if you do want to see me from time to time, hit personalized. Because when you hit personalized, girl, you're going to be seeing the story time. You're going to get the juice. You're going to hit the, you're going to get the good, you're going to get all the juicy times. Okay? And if you subscribe, I'll subscribe back. You already know what it is. Hashtag Juliet. I am in real juice. See you next time. <laughs>